Welcome to a week of self-care. So I'm recording this video from my car um, in true um, full-time working mom and YouTuber fashion. Um, I'm using the last 10 minutes of my lunch break to do a really quick intro for this video. So um, this week it's post Mother's Day and I don't know, I just kind of, I uh, Mother's Day was really awesome, it was wonderful. Um, you know, I took time for my family and they took time for me, which was amazing. And I was so grateful and I'm so blessed to have the family I do, but it made me kind of stop and reflect and think like I should do something small every single day. That's, you know, that's, that would be considered self care. And that can look like a lot of different things for a lot of different people. But, um, I feel like especially moms and parents in general, um, Put self-care on the back burner sometimes and I'm really badly guilty of that so this week I am challenging myself to um, do some self-care every single day so it can be something big or something small and I'm going to take you guys along for the journey and I challenge you guys to do the same thing so hopefully this video gives you a little bit of inspiration and some ideas of ways that you can carve time out for yourself and um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Random quick side note, for whatever reason, every single time that I record videos in my car, which I feel like I've had lots of little snippets lately of car videos, probably because I squeeze these in when I have time and also because um, it's a quiet place that I can actually record in. I have this like strip of red right here across my forehead. My forehead does not really look that way in person. Maybe you've noticed that in other videos, um, that it doesn't look that way, but in my car for whatever reason, anyways, I don't have a red stripe across the top of my forehead. Thought I would just throw that out there. Okay, let's get started. So on this day, I used a portion of my lunch break and I drove over to my favorite coffee shop near my workplace and I got my favorite drink. So um, sometimes it can be something as simple as that, you know, just swinging by and grabbing um, something like that and uh, enjoying the drive on a beautiful sunny day like it was on this day. So um, self-care does not have to be something big or something expensive. Um, I usually will do this like once a week, um, or at least I try to because it's kind of like a special thing instead of just drinking my stuff that I bring from home and it gets me out of my office. And um, right now when the weather's nice, it's so nice to get out in the sun and enjoy some weather outside of um, the building that I work in all day. So um, just reiterating, self-care does not have to be big or expensive. It can be simple and inexpensive. you might be able to guess what today's self-care is based on what I have here in this tub um, but this is just a little um, dollar store tub and it's a perfect size for your two feet so um, today I thought I would do just like a relaxing like foot soak and then um, because this whole self-care week took some intentionality and it just does if you're a busy person um, today I'm going to do like a foot spa foot bath kind of a thing and then tomorrow I'm going to paint my nails so um, I don't have time to do both today but um, this one's kind of nice because it's something you can do while multitasking so you could do some reading while you're relaxing in this with your feet um, you I've, I can edit my videos I can check emails um, I can help one of my kids with their homework so um, it's something that you can do for yourself but also managed to do something else. So I always started off with putting this awesome stuff in there and I'm not sponsored or affiliated with any of these, but this stuff is just, it smells really relaxing and clean and fresh and it's, um, I know it leaves your feet feeling really nice too. So there's that. And I just fill this tub with hot water and some of that. And then um, after they've, my feet have soaked for a while, I will use this um, amazing sugar scrub. This stuff, it smells so good. I'm gonna open it up and show it to you guys. It's like the best, ooh, look at all that. It's so good. It's like very um, coarse, but I mean like in a good way and gets all the ex exfoliates, um, it smells amazing. 
and I picked this up at Walmart. So I've been using that for a while and I've actually used this as a gift for people multiple times because it's it's awesome. Everyone that I've gifted this to has also loved it, so I highly recommend that. And then feet are just gross. This thing grosses me out, but um, it works amazingly well. I think it was like $3.24 or $3.40 something cents at Walmart. And um, it really gets in there and gets any of like the um, dead skin that needs exfoliated off of your feet, off of them. And um, I highly recommend this this thing. And then when I'm all the way done, then I always put this on and I put a pair of like fluffy, um, comfy, cozy socks. So um, I'm going to get my nail polish removed right now and then I'm going to sit back and enjoy um, just relaxing with my feet in this hot um, soak. So I um, highly encourage you to try this out if you're trying to come up with some self-care ideas for yourself. So for anyone with a weak stomach or someone who's completely grossed out by feet in all things um, feet, you may not want to watch this next part. I just wanted to show you guys, so this is what that little tool looks like. It's got like, um, it's not focusing here. It's got kind of like raised edges and does not hurt at all. If you've never used one of these yourself, um, then maybe you are not familiar with these. I didn't have one quite like this before. I had like a little foot roller that I totally felt like didn't do anything for my feet, but I wanna show you the grossness that came off of this. So let's go over to the sink and I will show you really quickly here. Okay, ready for the gross part? <laughs> okay, this, that's gross. That's all the stuff that came off of my feet, just from the scrubbing you saw me do in my video. All of that. So this thing works. I just wanted to be a testimony to that. This was empty when I started. That's all like, dead foot. <laughs> so if that doesn't gross you out, I don't know what will, but uh, I thought I'd share in case you're interested in this product. This is how great it works and that's how gross that is. So, all right. Now, we, now that we've talked about that, let's move on. I know I already mentioned it, but this stuff makes the sweetest little gift, especially for like a teacher, um, really for anyone, but um, teacher gift is something we've used this for. So you can pair that sugar scrub with um, uh, some little cozy, comfy socks and maybe some nail polish or a chapstick or something. And yeah, it makes a fabulous budget-friendly gift.
I just got home from work a little bit ago and I'm realizing that this whole uh, daily self-care challenge thing is so tough. It's so easy to um, you know, come home from work or in the evening after your daily activities and um, responsibilities are done to um, put in that time for yourself when there are so many other things that need done. I'm definitely uh, being more conscious of the fact that I put myself on the back burner all the time. And instead of just investing that little bit of time um, to do something for yourself, it's much easier to say, eh, I don't, I don't need to do that today. I'll, I'll do that this weekend or whenever. And then you just never do. So um, I just got done making homemade pizzas for dinner. So I probably have flour all over myself, but it's all good. Um, I'm going to uh, paint my toenails today. Since I had mentioned yesterday after I did my like foot bath thing, that was my um, promise to myself today that I would do. So it's definitely sandals weather, flip flops weather. So um, let's turn the camera around. I'm going to pick out some nail polish and some sparkles because my daughter requested it. And um, that's what I'm going to do for today for self care. All right, time to pick out some nail polish. So um, I was kind of thinking some kind of like a pink color. Um, if you didn't catch my video where I DIY'd this project, I will link that in my description box. It was a really fun project that didn't cost me anything. So if it's something that you um, like the looks of, then you could totally do this yourself. So I will link that video so you can check it out. Um, I'm thinking like a, I don't know, maybe something like this. I like that kind of color. Not something too bright. This one actually goes on even more light than it kind of looks. And then maybe this for sparkles. So I think those, I think those will be the winners. I like those. We'll see how they look together. I've never, never done that combo. So let's go paint some toenails. It was such a beautiful evening on this particular day that I figured what the heck, why not go outside and sit out in the nice breezy weather and paint my nails out there. So that's exactly what I did. This whole self-care challenge truly is a journey and a learning process. And I do have to say that I truly am learning how to just like sit and relax and just be. And look how pretty this is. So I got done. This took me like maybe 10 minutes max. And I'm just going to sit out here and I'm going to relax and enjoy this beautiful view. There are birds chirping. It's quiet. It's relaxing. There's like the tiniest breeze, but it's nice and warm. And I think I'm going to sit out here and read for like 10 minutes. Uh, maybe even do some editing. I don't know. Whatever it is, though, it's look how pretty this is. I will show you guys. Look at those skies. It's so nice to stop and just take a look around us at all the beauty that's happening. So challenge you guys to do the same. And I will see you guys tomorrow for some more self-care. I just went to a physical therapy appointment. First time in my life. Um, I turn 40 in a few months and I have never been to physical therapy and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I know that there have definitely been some times where I've needed to go to a physical therapist, but um, I just didn't have the time um, or the means to be able to get myself to go. So um, some people might consider this, you know, more of like an actual necessity. Um, typically, I would also consider something like this a necessity, but I also can see how people um, get in the, the boat that I'm in where, you know, I, I work full time. I have limited time before or after work that I can actually leave. And usually something like physical therapy, you're going for multiple appointments. It's not like you, a dental appointment where you go once and get your checkup and you're done. It's, you know, oh, we need you to come in weekly. And so um, it makes it hard to, to make those things a priority and to, to carve out time. But I'm so glad that I went today. I feel so much better. And I honestly, I sat there on the little, um, I can't remember what it's called, but they hook up kind of like little electrode things onto my, my shoulders, what I was going there for. They hooked these little electrode things up on my shoulder and um, it was a cold one. So she apologized. She's like, it's probably not going to be the most relaxing, but um, uh, it's it still, I sat there for 15 minutes. I didn't have my phone. I didn't have anyone talking to me. 
I didn't have kids asking me for things. I wasn't trying to multitask and do work. It was the most amazing 15 minutes ever. And who would have thought? (laughs) So um, I'm so grateful that I chose to actually schedule a physical therapy appointment and then go. Because I I honestly almost canceled it. It's been a crazy week. I almost was like, you know what? Forget about it. My shoulder's not really hurting that bad. I I don't think I need this. I'm just going to cancel all my appointments. And so grateful I went. And if you're someone that's putting off um, something like that, then I encourage you to figure out a way to make it work. It's what I did today, and I'm so glad I did. So for this day, we went on the most beautiful, amazing hike. I feel like I say that every time I go on a hike, but um, hiking and getting out in nature is truly one of my favorite forms of self-care. And so I feel like it just kind of reconnects you with um, just yourself and the world around you and makes you stop and take a look at the beauty that's happening around you. Sometimes on those busy, hectic days, um, the world around us can get so clouded with stress and our to-do list and just life that's happening around us but this truly just forces you to slow down and take a look at the beauty around you so this bird was like barely perched on perched on these like cattails and it was cracking me up but it was so pretty it had like a really cool yellow head and um this area like i said it was so beautiful um i'll just play some of the scenery but um this place up here we hiked to it so it's a cool they just built it we've never actually been in it yet and it was closed on this day but it's like a cool lookout area where you can check out um, all the wildlife from up here and they have some cool um, little exhibits on the inside of the building so we will have to come back another time when we can actually go in um, they had a really cool little sculpture thing here that you'll see in a minute where uh, kids can do some like interactive learning and I love things like that they could incorporate um, you know, just getting out in nature, but then also sparking kids' interest. So here's that bird thing I was talking about. The kids spin this big wheel, and then it makes the little bird's wings move. So it's super cool, and was just such a beautiful view from up here on this bluff. Um, If you can get out into nature and enjoy a good hike, I strongly encourage you to do so. It was super windy this day too, by the way. I love when our self-care can spill over and become self-care for our family members as well. My kids are not always super pumped to go out hiking with me, but once they're out there in nature, they have a blast exploring and discovering things. So today I am going to get something checked off the list. That's what I'm doing for self-care. So some might think that's kind of lame, but um, honestly, if it's something that like lifts a weight off your shoulders, takes something you know that's hanging over your head off of that list, then um, I consider that self-care. Honestly, I love to check things off of my to-do list. And so today I've been I've had paint samples that I've wanted to grab for like a month. So I'm running to the Home Depot to grab um, some paint samples so I can kind of test them out in different spots around our house. And I'm also going to go get my car washed. So those are two things that I've been needing done and accomplished and um, I'm going to get them taken care of. So it will make me feel better. So in my opinion, that's definitely something that could be considered self-care. All right, let's get to Home Depot and to the car wash. Does anyone else love themselves a good car wash? It seriously makes my day to drive through the car wash. And uh, my husband and I both have memberships. And so at this time of the year, when there's like pollen everywhere, we go through the car wash a lot. So um, I just love it. I love to see my car get all cleaned up and shiny and sparkly. And also it's a few moments where there's just like quiet, just like the noise from the machines. And you can see the pretty bubbles all over the windows. And I don't know, there's something about it. I love it. 
Um, hey, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, I would love to have you subscribe and join me here at My Life Under Renovation. I've got tons of fun things in store, lots of projects because I'm almost um, ready for summer vacation. So um, during summer vacation, I have tons of um, house plans and renovations and all sorts of amazing content. So I hope you'll go ahead and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of those videos. And um, I hope you'll stick around as a subscriber and it really helps me out. I'm still fairly new here to the YouTube world and I just appreciate you guys being here, whether you're new or whether you've been here um, from when I started. I'm just grateful for you guys and I thank you so much for um, your time and your dedication. My hair looks absolutely crazy. I, I watched my um, clip that I did before I left to head out and go to Home Depot in the car wash and um, didn't realize how crazy my hair was looking. So um, you're getting like the wild and crazy Shanna hair day. So we hiked this morning and then I came here. So this leftover hiking hair, that's what you get. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around really quick and show you what I got at Home Depot. I also had tons of fun just browsing and enjoying my quiet time. So. This was kind of like a triple, um, a triple uh, self-care day. I went somewhere by myself. I got two things checked off my list, so I'll count that as three. <laughs> um, let me show you what I got, okay guys? Okay, so today was, um, it was a paint run, basically. <laughs> but let me show you guys what all I got here. So um, this color right here, it's kind of hard to see. I guess it, it's not too bad on um, camera but it is a gray color and this is what we're potentially going to paint our kitchen cabinets so um, pretty cool I like the way that this one turned out and I can't wait to see it on the cabinets themselves um, this is a color I'm doing like a really fun DIY project in our kids' bathroom and this might be the like the molding um, that I do in there and then um, also a fun little like accent wall kind of DIY wallpaper kind of a project. And then um, this is the one I am most excited about. Um, it's called Frosted Jade. It's a really cool, just like breezy, relaxing, um, beautiful color. And this is what we're potentially going to do in our dining room. So on our dining room wall, um, and then it wraps around and goes into our kitchen too. So it would tie in with our fridge. I don't know if you've watched any of my past videos, you've seen what our fridge looks like. But anyways, I thought that is a really pretty color. It looks really nice up against like a legit white color. Um, and I think it would look nice with our, uh, just the color scheme we have planned for in our, um, in our kitchen when we redo everything in there. And then I also got this, um, this spray paint. I use this for like all of my spray painting projects and I've used this particular color before and this is kind of like an accent color that we use um, in the kids' bathroom. So I'd like to spray paint a couple picture frames just to tie everything together and that's kind of what I'm hoping to use that for. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick little snippet um, from today's um, self-care time and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow for the next the next one. All right, so it's the last day of my self-care challenge for myself, and this truly was an eye-opening experience, and I feel like it's going to help me be better about self-care after this week is over. It's definitely been difficult, I will admit that, but when it's completely foreign to you to make sure you carve out that time for yourself, it's going to be, and eat, trying anything new is going to be a challenge at first. So um, it opened my eyes and made me a little bit more conscious of how much I put myself last and um, just don't make time. And so I'm hoping that if you're watching this and you're like, hey, that's me, I don't do anything for myself, I hope this will encourage you and inspire you to start. So, um, you know, start small and do something, you know, once a week or uh, whatever, and then build up. I encourage you to build it up to more. Um, but I truly do hope you find some found some inspiration here during this video. It was kind of a fun one to make and um, I just am loving our new newly decorated and updated patio. So if you missed my last video, that's what we did. And um, I'll link that video if you're interested in catching it. But 
I thank you guys again so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing restful week and um, go plan out some self-care. Make it happen and um, take care of yourself. You deserve it. All right, guys, I will see you next time um, for the next video and I can't wait. I'll see you then. Bye.